everybody. Welcome to The Daily Dose. My name is Brian. I apologize if it's been a couple of days since you heard from me. I've had several things going on. I had a wicked bad, uh, for whatever reason, out of nowhere, cold kind of hit me. And then uh, just came back from a trip across the country. Traveled over to Virginia to do a training event out there for an unbelievable, incredible team of people. Uh, one of my best friends in the world runs a, an organization out there. And they asked me to come into town and and do some training, and it was just a magical, incredible weekend. And, you know, one of the things I thought about while I was there, is, and we were, while we were doing this training event on Saturday, is how much I really enjoyed being there and being in front of all the individuals and sharing the knowledge and the things that I've, you know, collected over the years, and and really just, you know, giving information. As and as I could see people's faces kind of light up as they had an aha moment, and, and you know, and realizing that I'm having a real impact on these people's lives, and it. It dawned on me, not for the first time, but redawned, if you will, that that really is my passion in life, is helping other people by the sharing of good ideas and good information. If, 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 you know, if my name shows up in one person's testimony when they die, you know, or, or when they hit it big, if my, if my name shows up in one person's testimony before I'm dead, I have achieved what I set out to do in my life, which is to impact other people's lives. And if I could just do it one time, man, it's all worth it. And, um, you know, it really got me thinking about what the key to success is. I mean, there's so many principles and ideas and keys and personal development things and things that we can do. But <clears throat> if there's one thing, if there's just one thing that you can hold on to that will really help you to excel, it's this. Figure out what moves you, what makes you cry, what stirs the emotions up inside of you. In other words, where does your passion lie? And if you can figure out where does your passion lie, and you can find a way to pour your time and your energy into that, here two, two things are going to happen. Number one is you're going to develop a fulfillment and a, 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 a contentedness that you won't find doing anything else. Because if you can fulfill, you know, you, you get this feeling of fulfilling your destiny when you're, when you're applying your energies where your passion lies. And then the second thing that you'll find is that <clears throat> if you begin to develop those skills and, and if you're adding value to people in those areas where those passions lie, the world will begin to compensate you for it. You can actually earn a living doing what you love. Now, I'm not suggesting that you quit your job today and, you know, take a basket weaving because that moves you. But, but here's the thing. You can start right now, right here, where you are right now, putting time and energy into your passion, into the thing that makes you cry. And when you begin to do that, you'll find that you begin to develop your skills and evolve and change, and who knows, one day you may find the world paying you very, very well to do what you love, because when you do what you love, you excel at it, and the world has always, and does still, pay for excellence. That's the dose, guys. Make it a great week.